Engineering Dr. Panassas, I won't say it's for, but. Terry Gilliam. Then we got Rob Zombies. Um, House of a Thousand Corpses, Devil's Rejects, Halloween, Halloween 2. Two middle ones, a classic. These two I didn't like at all, really. These two are great classic horror movies. Um, I'm not sure that. In the Shyamalan, Six Sense, horror movie. Um, great. Village was uh Signs uh Aiden Water was horrible. Um Talk Radio. Well, I don't know if that's horror, but Oliver Stone is pretty good. Alright. See what's over here. Alright, um, Al Pacino, I think people I know is kind of like a horror type, um, any of these, Somni was a thriller, great movie, I once called it horror, but it's a thriller, people I know I think was kind of horror, thriller type, 88 Minutes was thriller, but wasn't good, uh, Nick Cage, you want to call Ghost Riders th horror? I won't really say it's horror. There's a Wicker Man. Nick Cage's Wicker Man. Um, they're both good. I, um, the first one has too much singing for me. <laughs> but I actually do like Nick Cage one. Some people don't like it, but I like it. Um, anything else? 8 millimeters, kind of horror. Vampire's Kiss. Oh, it's actually one of my favorite. Uh, vampire movie, another one of my favorite vampire movies, just because Nick Cage goes way over the top and it's and it works. He's he, he, like he goes over the top, like he doesn't face off, but it works and he's good. I like Nick Cage when he goes over the top because he's fun. So this movie's a real fun, <laughs> real good movie. Um, that's I guess that's it for him. Then we got. Bram Stoker's Dracula, which is my favorite vampire movie of all time. My third favorite horror movie. <clears throat> Speaking of that, I skipped over. Uh, where's that? The Shining. The Shining is my favorite horror movie of all time. Psycho. The original is my second favorite horror movie of all time. My third favorite is Bram Stoker's Dracula. So, and Bram Stoker's Dracula is my favorite vampire movie of all time. Unborn, that's horror, came out uh, last year, but it's not good at all. It's horrible. Uninvited, which came out at the same time, was much better. Um, Secret Window, I guess you call that horror. That's my favorite Johnny Depp performance of all time. Um, it's written by Stephen King, so as you call it, like kind of horror. Sweeney Todd, I don't really like. Corpse Bride, another Johnny Depp. Cart uh, I don't know the cartoon. As I said, I don't know if it's motion capture. It's a cartoon, I think. Uh, what else? From Hell, another Johnny Depp uh, horror. Ninth Gate, Roman Polanski, Johnny Depp horror. Um, they're both okay. Sleepy Hollow, another giant dub horror. And Ed Wood. I won't say it's horror, but it was about horror director Ed Wood, the worst director of all time. Or that many say was the worst director ever. But that was a really good movie. Uh, let's see. Um, domestic Disturbance, I guess you could cage. Thriller, horror type. Another Vince Bond and Travolta interview with a vampire used to be my favorite horror, uh, vampire movie when I was a kid, but I've seen much better now. And it's not as good as I remember as a kid, but still, still okay. But I've seen much better vampire movies, especially with Bram Stoker's Dracula and John Carpenter's Vampires and Vampire's Kiss. 
Alright, looks like that's all for that. Um, like I said, so I have the Exorcist on VHS. Need to update it eventually. Nosferatu, which is Werner Herzog's 19, 1979 remake of the 1922 version. Um, haven't seen this in a while either since I've got it, so I need to watch that again. I don't really remember much of it. I just watched the 1922 version today, first time ever. So, I wish that that's a silent movie. Um, this one's that's a silent black and white movie, it's made 1922. This one's made 1979, so this one's um, I still might be black and white, I'm not sure, but it's not silent. Uh, anything over here? Uh, Mr. Brooks. That's horror. That just came out. Uh, that just came out last year, I think. I said Kevin Costner's best performance in a while. He plays a serial killer. That's a real good movie. Dan Cook's in it too. Um, I don't know if there's anything else over here. Straw Dogs. I guess they call that horror type movie. Sam Peck and Paul. So, oh yeah, here we go. Seven. That's like a um. Psychological thriller, real good. Um, California. Um, Dave Duchovny goes with Brad Pitt and Juliette Lewis, and they're serial killers. So they go on a road trip with them. So that's, I guess, kind of horror. But that's one of Brad Pitt's best performances, actually. He plays a serial killer. If you've never seen it, you need to see it. Uh, uh, I wouldn't say 12 Monkeys is horror, but pretty good. Um, we got The Haunting. I like The Haunting, it's pretty cool. Pretty good movie. Um, this looks like about it for there. Yeah, a couple more. <clears throat> These are Martin Brian reflection. There's no, he's never been in a horror movie, but closest thing to a horror movie that he's been in is The Nightcomers. Um, I won't say it's horror, but it's definitely strange. But it's the only closest thing to a horror movie that Martin Brando has been in. So, mention that. Then my De Niro collection. Um, he's been in a few horror. Not too many, but I'm trying to think. Let's see. None of them. There we go. Godsend. That's horror. Hide and seek. That's horror. That has a creepy um, kid in it. This one has the code fanny in it. The boy, I can't, I don't know his name. Um, looks like those two and, um, oh, two more. Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. Robert De Niro plays Frankenstein, the monster, well, the Frankenstein monster. Is not, the monster's name is the Frankenstein, the doctor's name was, but Robert De Niro plays the monster in Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. Which is a weird role for him, and it even looks kind of like him. It's another movie I need to uh, watch again and update to either Blu-ray or DVD since I still only have it on VHS. Angel Heart is another um, kind of horror-ish movie. It deals with uh, Louisiana, New Orleans, and um, voodoo and stuff like that. So, looks like those only those four are the only horror movies he did. Cape Fear is kind of... I also have Cape Fear on... DVD too. Cape Fear is kind of 
it is kind of horror type movie. About as much horror as Shutter Island is. I wouldn't say it's horror, but I guess you'd mention it when you mention horror movies. And that's it. That's my horror collection. And you'll be able to see my shirt better in the mirror. So, my hat. Alright, happy Halloween everyone.